This is my favorite wallet. This is the Zippy Coin from Louis Vuitton. I looked for this particular one, I'll show it to you up close in a minute, for several years before I found it. And during that time, I looked for more affordable alternatives, because you know, Louis Vuitton, not cheap. But I never found one until today. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So this wallet, I'll bring it closer. This is a zippy coin from Louis Vuitton. You can see it fits in the palm of my hand. It's a nice, small, compact wallet. I'm gonna go through it with you. This particular version, is a limited edition piece, and it's in, if I remember correctly, the Blossoms print. Yes, I do remember correctly. I always get it confused with Gucci's Flora print, but Gucci is definitely Flora. This is the Blossoms print. I don't know what this is, but it's something that is on top. It's a texture that's smooth that was somehow attached to the top of the monogram canvas. So it has these florals here, and that goes all the way through to the back. And let me give you a little spin of this wallet. So you have the gold zipper, which at the bottom says Louis Vuitton engraved in there. There's the back. And the other side, there's the bottom that you already saw, and then the top. So obviously, the zippy coin is enclosed with this zipper, and you just go around here. And I always wondered if that might be a problem going around the corners. It never has been. It goes really fast. Very, very fast. Speedy, speedy. There's no problem getting to the money when you need it. I have my stuff in here right now so you can see how it is. But let me take everything out so I can show you the layout. And then we will get to the fantastic affordable alternative and you will see what a really fantastic and very affordable alternative it is to this wallet. All right, everything is out now so I can show you the layout. So overall, you have these two big spaces. In the center, you have this divider and it is two pieces of leather. I didn't take that out. I keep fortunes in there. When I get a fortune cookie, I just, pop the fortune in there. I forget they're there. But that does open up so you have storage space inside there. And that one piece of leather is a little shorter than the other one, as you can see. It's stamped Louis Vuitton Paris there. And it looks like mine says made in France. So that's the overall. Now on either side, you have places for cards. There's one pocket here and one pocket here. There's also a bigger slip pocket back here, which is basically the size of the whole wallet. You have that layout on this side, but also on this side. So you can put, I keep two cards. I don't use that big back flat pocket. I have not found that useful personally, but you could certainly put bills in there. And then I use the center part for some extra cards I wanna carry and to put receipts. And then as you saw, I put fortune cookies in there, which kind of weird. Okay, so that is the layout. Now let me tell you, as far as the zippy coins, I don't even know what these go for these days. So I should probably look it up. All right, I'm on the Louis Vuitton website and I'm filming this in April of 2023. The plain monogram zippy coin is $505. The epi leather is also $505, which is surprising. The emprunt leather is 680 and then the Christmas animations were 555 that's probably because those are sold out and the price has gone up since then I'm guessing there's an ostrich one for 1490 and I see two croc ones one is 3350 and one is 4150 so that just gives you an idea of some of the variety on the zippy coin I looked for this particular version of the zippy coin with the blossoms for about three years before I finally found one they're very hard to come by mine is in perfect condition and it's held up really well. I've used this every day since I got it, just about every day, every once in a while, I use something else like a card holder in a smaller bag, but pretty much every day, and it still looks brand new, no problems at all. I've been so happy with this. This is the most perfect wallet for me that I've ever had. It's compact, it fits in just about every bag. It organizes my things for me so I can find them easily. It's easy to get in and out of, it's secure. It's just my perfect wallet. And I will say, 
say in those three years I was looking for this, two things. I considered getting a different Zippy coin just so I'd have one because I really wanted a Zippy coin. But every time I considered buying one and I came close several times, I kept thinking, well, the one I want, I'm willing to pay up to maybe five or 600. I think I paid about 500 for this. And you can get them as low as maybe 300 on the pre-loved market. And by the way, of course, I'll have some of these linked below. And if I can find the Blossoms one, I'll definitely link that for you, but chances aren't very high of that. But what I kept thinking when I came close to buying a different Zippy wallet is that $300 or whatever it was would pay for most of this one. So I'm just gonna wait it out. And I did, and I finally found this, and I'm so happy that I waited for this. Also in those three years, I kept looking for much more affordable alternatives, wallets that were not several hundred dollars, but that were basically the same layout. But anytime I found something that looked similar at first glance, it would be very different. Coach, for example, has wallets that look like this, that zip around, but when you open them up, they're not gusseted on the sides. I didn't show you that. This is gusseted there. It has that piece of leather, right? So things don't fall out. Instead of having the gussets, those would open up all the way. They'd open flat, and that's not what I wanted. And there were other variations of things that I didn't want. I could never find something that was basically identical to this until today, and I couldn't believe it when I found this. I'm gonna come closer. This, my friends, is the small zip wallet from Portland Leather Goods. This color is boysenberry, which looks beautiful on the screen, but in person I'm not liking it as much, so I think I may return this and get a different color. But before I do that, I wanted to show this to you because it is so perfect. First of all, let's take a spin and go around this thing and let's see how very close this looks to the wallet that we just saw from Louis Vuitton. It is basically a dupe for that wallet, okay? Except it has no logos, no Louis Vuitton looking anything. This is just beautiful full grain leather. Now, when we open this up, it has a very smooth zipper by the way. Super smooth, very easy, just as easy as the Louis Vuitton. Are you ready? Look at those gussets, baby. Look at that, it's got gussets. And look inside. <gasps> It is almost identical to the Zippy coin from Louis Vuitton. It is so perfect. Let me go over this with you. We've got the big two pockets here where we can fit cards and receipts and coins if you wanna do that. They're not gonna fall out because of the gussets. We have a center compartment. Now this one has a zipper. The only downside maybe is that in the other one I think you can fit cards let's see yep you can fit a card in that center pocket but this one having the zipper you lose some space here because of the zipper pull so you're not gonna get a card in there but you definitely have a more secure place for coins in this wallet than you do in the other one now on this wall we have a space for a card we have another space for a card we don't have that third back pocket that takes up the whole back and on the front we have the same, so that holds two cards. Now for me, not having that back pocket doesn't matter because I don't use it. If that was something you really needed, then that's one difference in this wallet. But otherwise, I mean, they're pretty identical, yes? Oh, and one more thing I noticed is, I think you can see it if I get the light just right. Okay, down at the bottom there, that piece of leather at the bottom, there's a width to it. On the Louis Vuitton, however, when you look at the bottom here, which I don't know if you'll even be able to see, there's not really width there. Maybe a tiny bit, but not really. So what that means is the Louis Vuitton wallet will be slimmer and the Portland Leather Goods wallet will be a little bit more bulky because it's thicker at the bottom. The Louis Vuitton wallet, you can squash. This one, yeah, I guess you could, but it's harder because there are pieces of leather in there that aren't in here. Here's a little size comparison. The Portland Leather Goods wallet, not only is it wider, but it's also a tiny bit taller. I have them lined up on this side and you can see that the Portland Leather Goods is a little bit longer. So overall, Portland Leather is just a little bit bigger wallet than the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin. But you can't really fault it when I know from experience that you're not gonna find another wallet like this one. Or at least, if you can, I didn't come across it in three years. And you're going to be blown away by the price. You remember I told you that the Louis Vuitton wallet, the basic monogram version, is $505 right now. And you know those prices only go up. This wallet, 
ladies and gentlemen, I got it for $50. That was with a 30% off coupon, but they always have a 25% off coupon, so you might pay a couple dollars more than that if they don't have the 30 going on, but $50. Now actually, I think I got this one as an almost perfect. The $50 would be the premium. The Almost Perfect, which are pieces that have small flaws. This one has a couple of scratches and I figured that would be fine because it's a wallet. It's gonna get scratched up anyway in my bag. The Almost Perfect version, $40. $40, $500, $40, $500. And you can get lots of options here in terms of the color that you want. Now, you can with these too. The Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin is one of the pieces from Louis Vuitton that they put animations on and they do limited editions of because it's one of their staple pieces in their collection. So you can find a wide variety of these wallets, especially on the pre-loved market, but they're still going to be several hundred dollars. I would say the cheapest you'll find them would be around 300 and that's gonna be maybe for a beat up one brand new 500 limited editions you're going to be looking upward of six seven hundred dollars i've seen them i feel like i've seen them at a thousand depending on the condition and what limited edition it might be this might go up in value at some point but it's not going to go anywhere near the louis vuitton prices so if you care about what you're spending right now and you've always wanted one of these or if you want one of these but you're not sure you want to spend that much money because you don't know if you'll like it and you want to try something similar first this here guys i've got gotcha, you the portland leather goods small zip wallet so of course i will have this linked below just like i said i would have some zippy coins linked below use my link to get there quickly and pick out the wallet you want because these are fantastic you get the point if you want a louis vuitton zippy coin but you don't want to pay Louis Vuitton prices. Portland Leather Goods has you covered, and so do I. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have ever seen another wallet like these, because if you have, I want to know about it. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.